I must say it's so encouraging to see the technical events particularly being uh, mastered by so many athletes. Nothing more demanding from a technical sense than the men's vault and the women's vault for that matter, of course. So here is the, or was the lineup for the women's 200 meters final. Eight athletes will go to their blocks. Great Britain represented in this with Finette Agyapong, a fast loser. She uh, qualified on the basis of her time yesterday, the Newham and Essex Beagle. So she's uh, got perhaps the uh, least preferred of the draws, lane two. And there are the athletes lining up for this final. Finette Agyapong, delighted to have got here. A lifetime best, 23.55, was set in Mannheim in Germany just a couple of months ago. Taylor Bennett, well, ran very quickly, the American, 22.71 back in April, but has failed to reproduce that form here. Janae Ambrose looked rather good in uh, qualifying yesterday, although I think she might have to find some if she is to get up alongside this woman, who is certainly among the favourites. Edidiong Odiong of Bahrain, semi-final winner, the fastest of the qualifiers. She ran 23.19 yesterday. Sada Williams, the Bayesian, she too a semi-final winner. Barbados have never won a gold at these championships. Evelyn Rivera of Colombia, 23.26 her fastest time. Rivera in seven. Ashland Best there of Canada. Had a poor start yesterday. Let's hope she's addressed that little gremlin overnight because when she gets into a running best, she does travel. And Estelle Raffet of France on the outside. French doing so well in the men's triple jump final last night, picking up two of the three medals on offer. So the women being called to their blocks from the inside. Agapon, Great Britain, Bennett, United States, Ambrose, Bahamas, Odiong, Bahrain, Williams, Barbados, Rivera, Colombia, Best, Canada, and Rafai of France. The lanes to keep an eye on, lanes five and six. And there you can see the Bayesian with the blue in her hair. Will she have gold around her neck, though? So Odiong there wearing the white vest and the red shorts, beginning to get away from the rather bustling star there of Ambrose, and it's already Odiong, and she's out. Well, there was, that was the Rivera, the Colombian, and now you can see Odiong is away and clear. And the young lady from Bahrain is going to take it. Williams, I should say, was the athlete who fell out. So the race we were anticipating never really materialized. Odiong of Bahrain takes the 200 meter crown. What oh what happened to Serta Williams? A brilliant performance there from the Bahrainian, 22.84. It's a national record, the first time she's ever been inside 23 seconds. Well, you have to say, the young lady who's strutting her stuff there was the most likely winner on the evidence of last night, and so it proved. Let's see if uh, Williams has picked herself up around that top bend. But in all honesty, I think she looked beaten when she went down. Twenty-two point eight four. Very impressive indeed. Couple of meters short of Anthony Strawn's championship record set in the Olympic Stadium in Barcelona. Let's take a look now here at Sada Williams and already sensing at this point, oh, there she went. Well, well, she tried to run again, didn't she? It looks like a little bit of uh, cramp which hit her. I think that's the most likely explanation coming from the calf or something like that. Well, we may get another slow-mo. I'm not sure it wasn't turning the ankle on that inside. Just... Uh seem to lose a line a little bit. She thought about continuing, but by that stage, everyone was away and clear. 
Yeah, she's uh, falling to her knees there in the background. I don't think she's particularly badly hurt, but we'll, we'll see here. No, I think it was no, probably... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit of cramp either in the hamstring. You can see how she's got that uh, tape on the back of the hamstring, which goes to suggest that maybe she has had one or two niggles there in the recent past, but nothing more than a little attack of cramp, I think. Which, of course, is pretty fatal in terms of your hopes in a final like this, but long-term shouldn't be too much of an issue. But Odeyong, I think by that stage, was already two or three metres up on the uh, Bayesian. So Odeyong takes the goal, 22.84. Rivera of Colombia, lifetime best in second, 23.21. And Estelle Rafai, another medal for France. Panette Agupong finishing there in seventh.